fam so here we have about half pound of deboned chicken so this is pure meat and we're going to be showing you how to prepare your own sausage at home or you can even shape it and use it for hamburger um, meat or anything of your choice and you can basically use this for any type of meat any meat of your choice be it beef pork fish you debone the fish or any way at all so yeah we'll be using chicken today um and um we'll be using it with some green seasoning and please if you haven't watched that video as yet where i showed you how to prepare authentic green seasoning then you should definitely go and check that out and that's the reason as to why you're seeing our blender in this state so yeah we're going to go ahead and just add our chicken to our blender and we had pre-seasoned this chicken before so it's a double seasoning with all of those spices Oh my god this should this is going to be delicious let's get straight into the blending let's see what's going on let's see what's going on inside We're going to go ahead and use our fork or whatever instrument that you're using to get all of those seasoning from around the blender. In also doing that, we're going to go right in with a teaspoon wow, of that seasoning as well. Just to add to the flavor. Wow, that scent. You can smell every seasoning that was in that green seasoning. You can smell everything. And how oh, it's looking now with a creamy consistency we can stop or we can pulse for another minute or 30 seconds and that's it. to get everything out of the blender what I'm going to do is to remove the base just screw it off I'm not sure if your blender can do this but we don't need anything to waste. Look at this. You can see the rim filled with seasoning. And we're going to push it through. Use the fork and push it right through. Look at that. Everything out. You can use this even in your chicken alfredo. Let's add our olive oil. Alright, so in this we added some olive oil. As you can see, there is liquid running. What I want to do is I want to try and get out 
use this as a mold and I added the olive oil in order to try and get it out as easy and smooth as possible so one shake or two shake and it will be out or once we turn it upside down it will be out so let's see what how it goes we're going to try it directly in our pot not coming out as easy it's lifting you can see it's lifting it's lifting you can see that whoa and it came right out with all that oil can go in with it freestyle and shape it how we want it so here I'm just adding some and we just go right in and press it out no not get it into the form that you want but you can definitely manipulate And you can use the fork to add texture. You can use yeah man so you can basically use this to prepare a power breakfast you can bake it instead of frying it you can do just about and you can use it to make your um alfredo fried rice you can use it to make just about any and everything here we have a longer one you can definitely put it in the fridge put the minced meat itself in the fridge for a while until you can form it into whatever you want if you want sausages you can definitely do that as well put it in the fridge for about you know a reasonable time frame five to ten minutes or once you are able to manipulate it into a dough form and here we have them be sure to prepare these with minimum amount of oil not a lot of oil or grease and um and low flame until you have your desired golden brown and if you do not want it to be golden brown or get its own brown color you can be sure to add some brown into your minced meat mix and you will definitely get that burger king it's whatever fast food place it is that you prefer you can definitely get that color even if it is chicken so i didn't do that what i did was to just use a straight chicken with the green seasoning and some salt and we are gucci you can increase the temperature as desired you can see here 
this I haven't got much color as this one is here so I'm going to just keep it now and increase the temperature but we want to ensure that the chicken is being cooked properly right, this one was the first one I think we can remove this but we're going to let it sit for another two minutes or a minute give it some time so we'll see what it looks like when it's finished and here we have it our hamburger meat and this is it so you can use these to aid in your preparation of breakfast lunch or even dinner breakfast you could make sandwiches such as you know hamburger or a regular sandwich with your lettuce or whatever vegetable you'd want to add and whatever dressing mayonnaise sour cream whatever it is you can just prep it up you can have them with salads with your vegetables just the same with no bread or anything like that but yeah so you can hype it up in a lot of different ways You may also make them in advance, stack them and pack them in your refrigerator and warm them as you would like. Warm them whenever you want. So these I'm going to have these for sandwiches in the morning. Yeah. 